you guys what's going on today I'm gonna be doing an empties video and I have some makeup stuff skincare just beauty items in general they're all right here in my lovely Sephora bag so I'm just gonna get started getting into it I have two dry shampoos I think I don't think I have any other ones in here oh I do whoopsie Okay, so I have three dry shampoos. Two of them are full size, and then I have a little guy right here. They're all by Batiste, and this one's the original one. I really like it. It's not my favorite, but this is a good one. I have the Rich and Elegant Paisley, which used to be my favorite scent until I tried the Batiste Sassy and Striking Mamba, and this is the little one. I don't know if they sell this in the full size, because I got this in a little set for Christmas. came with three dry shampoos, all this size, but this is amazing. It's the best smelling dry shampoo ever. So I love all the dry. I love uh, Batiste in general. Um, some of their scents are a little weird, but these three are my favorite. That's it for the dry shampoos. I'll do the makeup wipes real quick. And let me see if I have any more in here. No. So I used up two of the Costco brand makeup wipes wipes Ugh. they're by Kirkland and I really really like these I don't use them anymore just because I have a whole new skincare routine so but hey if you're looking for cheaper wipes go to Costco they come in a huge pack they do work work really well I can't talk today and then I did buy one pack of the Ole Hendrickson Truth To Go wipes and I got this. I had 20% off so that's why I bought it. Um, they were okay. I really like the smell. They smell like orange sherbet. Well, would I repurchase these? No. They're just not worth it. It's like $15 and you get 30 wipes. They weren't that amazing but that's one of them. You guys can try it out if you want. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm going to do now this uh, Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I love this. I love it, love it, love it. I actually got another one of these for Christmas. And I used it up. And it took me a really, really long time to use this up, guys. Like, it took almost a year. I use it about once a week. I just did it yesterday. Um, but I don't think, I mean, it says here you don't. You shouldn't use it more than three times, use no more than twice a week. And you really don't need it twice a week. Once a week is good. But I love it. It smells amazing. Uh, amazing. So I use that up. And like I said, I have a new one and that's going to take me forever to use. And they're kind of pricey, but it lasts a whole year. So you're okay. And then I'm going to do two kind of makeup things, I guess you would say. I have two Urban Decay setting sprays. One is a big one and then one's a little baby one. I... These last forever too, seriously, I months and months and months. I don't remember how long or whatever, but last a really long time. I repurchased a big one because I love it so much, so you guys need to try these out. They really do keep my makeup on all day. Sometimes, once I forgot to put it on and I was like, why is my makeup not looking fresh today? Urban Decay setting spray. I didn't use it. Now I'm going to do the body wash I used up. This is the Aveeno Positively Nourishing Calming Body Wash. I got this because it smelled so amazing and clean and fresh. Um, but I mean calming, I don't know. I didn't really get it for the calming part. Um, I don't really know if it calmed me either. But it does have lavender and chamomile and all that stuff in it. So it smells really good. I didn't repurchase this because I try out new body washes all the time. But if you know, this would be one that I would repurchase if I didn't try a ton out all the time. Next up, I have this Freeman Barefoot Heel and Callus Balm. I do have really dry feet, and mainly because when I walk, at least with sandals on, like, my heels fall off, like, this way. Like, so my heel basically is always on the ground when I walk, and I know it's super gross, but it's like my feet fall off, and my heels are really dry and kind of hard right now. I know this is gross, but um, I got this just for that, and I feel like it did work. It was really moisturizing. Um, I feel like I went through this really quickly though. I feel like you don't get a lot of um, product in here. Um, will I repurchase? Just like with the body washes, I buy new lotions all the time, but this would definitely be one that I would repurchase. I'll probably try something out right now and then if that doesn't work out, I'll go back to this, but I liked it and it's kind of gross my, that my feet are dry, I know. I can't be the only one though. Okay, on to the Burt's Bees, oh, there's hair everywhere, I'm sorry, Burt's Bees Shampoo and Wash. I use this to wash my brushes, and I love it so much. It's a baby shampoo, and it's tear-free. It's 98.9% natural, and this is like a smaller size. I bought a new one from Bed Bath & Beyond, and it's a bigger size, so I love this. I've been using this um, shampoo for my brushes for a really long time. 
And then I have Skintimate Shaving Cream. To be honest, I'm not picky when it comes to shaving cream. I usually pick the shaving cream that's on sale. I don't think this was on sale though. It's the Strawberry and Tangerine Twist one. Smelled really good. Like I said, not picky about it. I bought a new Skintimate Shaving Gel. Not this scent, but it's by Skintimate, so that's interesting. Now I'm going to go, I have all like makeup-y items next. Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation, and I, okay, okay, there's like a thin layer left, but when you get to that thin layer, it's really thick and goopy, um, so I kind of don't use that layer, but it's pretty much done. And then I have an eyebrow pencil by Anastasia. Totally done. I love this. It's my favorite eyebrow pencil. I repurchased it. I've repurchased like five of them already, so I really do like it. Oh, something spilled in my bag. It's kind of gross. And then, of course, I have the Burt's Bees Sensitive Daily Moisturizing Cream. This was in my last, uh, like, empties video, I believe, and I really do like it. It's my favorite moisturizer. I've repurchased it. This is... I'm on my third bottle now, so I love it. If you have sensitive skin and if you like thinner um, moisturizers, like daily moisturizers, you should definitely try this out. It is pricey, but it's totally worth it. The one I was using before, the moisturizer I was using before, was super thick and it would break me out, so this has saved my life. And then lastly, I have the One Wild Light, um, One Wild Cover All Press Powder. It's in light medium. Oh, it's not, this is not the last thing I have, by the way. Um, and I do have some product left right here on the corners, but it was so hard to get my brush in there that I was like, forget it, it's going in my Sephora bag. But yeah, I purchased a new one of these, and I love it. It's great for dry skin. It doesn't um, keep you super matte and dry. It's just really nice, and it sets your makeup. And the last thing I have is the Carmex Lip Balm in, like, a jar. And... As you can see, this is pretty much all done. It has a little ring around it of product, but I'm going to finish this up either like tomorrow or the next day. And I'm just proud because I usually lose my chapsticks in this all the time and then I have to buy a new one. So I'm proud that I didn't lose this and I pretty much finished it up. Isn't that amazing? I think it's pretty crazy. So that's pretty much it for my empties video. That was pretty quick. I'm sorry if I talked kind of fast, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.